Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? Running room galore for United. Well, disappointing end to the move. And support available. Is it going to be? Oh, there it is! She's bagged another one. Two in this game now. What a performance we're witnessing. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And making headway. Opportunity. And you cannot argue with a hat trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And so the referee brings this match to an end, and Liverpool have lost. That's the big story from their angle. What did you make of it? Well, it certainly wasn't a good display today. They were second best in certain areas of the pitch. But overall, I think they are just about where they expected to be after three games.